Hi, I'm Christopher Albright. I am your church council chair, and I am filling in for Pastor Doug this week as he takes some much-deserved uh, time off. It's great to be with all of you. I hope you're having a great week so far, and I uh, wanted to let you know about some of the things happening at Wesley um, and some things that you can expect. Uh, before we get into some uh, other news, I wanted to let you know that we are back fully to in-person worship, in case you hadn't already known. Right now, our worship services are outside. Um, where outside, you might be asking? Well, it's around the back side of the church, around the multi-purpose room. Uh, what you can do there is either come out, bring a chair, sit down there in the grass and watch the service, or if you would like, you can stay in your car if it's a hot morning, uh, turn on your air conditioning, and uh, listen to the service on your radio, 93.7, I believe, uh, on your radio. So a couple of options for you there, but we're just thrilled to be back uh, in person and outside, able to enjoy uh, the creation that our Lord has given us. Wanted to let you know too, if you would still continue to RSVP uh, the church office. That would be fantastic. A couple of ways you can do that. You can call 717-957-4481 uh, or you can email the church uh, as well. Uh, a couple of prayer concerns. Um, the first, uh, recovering at home, is Jack Snyder. So please continue to keep him in your prayers. Um, also, uh, Sandra Wolf, Zach Skirpin, Jennifer Roman, uh, Melinda Kern's sister Candy, as she continues to recover from COVID, and William as well. So make sure you keep those uh, folks in your prayers this week. If you have an addition for the prayer list, a couple of ways you can let us know about that. Uh, the best way is to email Barb Hammaker. You can send her a message at bwhamm at ptd.net. You can also let the church office know, and that's wesleyum.office at gmail.com or email Pastor Doug, Pastor Doug Everly at ymail.com. Uh, so just a couple of prayer uh, requests for you uh, this week. Uh, this coming week, uh, January, not January, weather doesn't feel like January, does it? June 15th, uh, coming up this Tuesday, we'll have a Wesley Church Council meeting. Uh, that will be via Zoom. So if you're on the Church Council, that's how you can join us. Um, be on the lookout for a Zoom invitation. If you would just like to listen in um, to the Church Council meeting, you can let us know. Send me an email and we can get you set up with an invitation there. Um, I mentioned that outdoor worship will be continuing. Uh, just a, a heads up, it's not too far away. Father's Day coming up on June 20th, that will also uh, be an outdoor worship. Uh, one other thing to note as well, if you'd like to join the Adult Sunday School uh, class, which has is just a wonderful experience, um, that is by Zoom as well, and that's 10.30 every Sunday morning. You can let me know, and I'll send you uh, an email invitation for that as well. The Women's Book Club is meeting on June 21st. That is going to be held at 7 p.m. at the home of Debbie Moore. They will be discussing the book The Society of Second Chances by Deborah Rainey. Uh, an update on Vacation Bible School. It's going to be here before we know it, folks. It's already, what, June 9th? Hard to believe. July 18th through the 22nd from 6 to 8 p.m. It's the Rocky Railway VBS. Registrations are now open. We're thrilled. There's been a, a tremendous response to it so far. Um, you can register children ages 3 through 5th grade uh, via the tab on the church website. You can go to Wesley UM. Dot org. Just look for the VBS tab at the top, click on that, and that'll take you to the registration form. All children are welcome to come and experience how Jesus truly pulls us through. And if you are an adult or a young adult or old adult, any adult, you're only as old as you feel. If you'd like to be involved uh, with VBS by helping 
you can certainly uh, help as well. There's always room for, for more folks. So uh, just let us know. Amy Whitworth would be your contact uh, for that. Also, uh, along the lines with uh, VBS, the mission project is Join Hands Back to School program. Join Hands is now collecting donations for its annual back to school program. The flyer lists everything they're collecting. However, the VBS mission project will be to collect earbuds for them. If you wish to donate any of the items on Join Hands wish list, you can take them directly to Join Hands, pardon me, to Join Hands, or drop them off at the church, and Amy Whitworth will deliver them at the conclusion of VBS on July 22nd. Thanks very much for your continued support and supporting the children of Perry County. So that's a, a very worthwhile project. Wesley Preschool is also enrolling for the 2021-2022 school year. Uh, classes are available for children ages one and a half through pre-kindergarten and are designed to meet the needs of a child during each stage of their most formative years. For additional information, you can contact the Wesley Preschool by calling the church office or by going on the church website and accessing information there. We also want to remind you that we are a virtual partner to Community Aid. Some of you may have seen in the past the Community Aid drop-in uh, for donating clothes and other items. You can still support Wesley Outreach Ministries by taking your donation directly to any community aid store. When you donate, use our name and number and we earn credit for the donation at the rate of six cents per pound. And that is Wesley UMC number 10368. Again, that number Wesley UMC 10368. Closest store to our church is located at 4833 Carlisle Pike in Mechanicsburg. And the next collection day uh, is, incidentally, July 10th. So again, it'll be here before you know it. Well, we've talked about every other thing going on and every other Sunday, with the exception of this Sunday. Uh, with Pastor Doug uh, away, uh, getting his batteries recharged, we've got Pastor Kevin Hughes, an old friend uh, who was with us a couple of years ago, just prior to Pastor Doug's arrival. He has graciously agreed to come back and, uh, and serve as the pastor uh, for this service. And the I gotta tell you, if you're, if you're an Elvis fan, you're really gonna like this uh, sermon titled Jailhouse Rock, uh, which is gonna talk about uh, the experience of Paul and Silas uh, and their famous jailhouse experience. So hope you can join us uh, there. So. It was wonderful being able to visit with you. I hope that all of you are well. I hope that you are staying cool in these hot temperatures. Remember to stay hydrated, uh, take care of yourself, be safe. And let's close with the word of prayer. Father God, we thank you for the time when we can gather together. We are so grateful that things are opening up to the point that we can join together in your blessed community. Lord, we thank you for all those things that you have given us. May you guide us, keep us safe, and let us be your instruments in this world. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, folks. Have a great rest of your week.